Okay, lead me to the Golden Sonic statue now. So myth number one, there's a Golden Sonic statue in Sonic Speed Simulator. I'm not talking about this one. All right, here we go. Who's taking me to the Golden Sonic statue? This guy right here, Zayden. Okay, Zayden, I'm following you, bro. This guy says, I know where the Golden Sonic statue is. All right, Mr. Go, I'm following you, bro. We're all following you, buddy. Come on, let's all follow him. We're all rolling out as classics. Dude, go, go faster. So yes, myth number one, Golden Sonic statue. Is it true? Is this him right here? I don't even know if this is him. I think it's him. I lost him. I lost him. Where are we? Yo, where did he go? Is this him right here? Okay, I found him. I found him. I found him. So yeah, you guys remember, they used to always hide these Golden Sonic statues in SSS. And I did actually see something somewhere that there was a golden sonic statue where is he i'm following all these guys we're trying to find it where is the golden sonic statue this guy, this guy says we are we lost are bro i'm, I'm lost, lost right now right i don't know, know where, where to, go. to go all right this guy says in chat i'll be big the cat look for big all right i'm finding you bro oh there he is there he is i found big i found big the cat all right take me take me to the statue buddy i'm right here with you this is k all right let's do this where's he go? what what the oh my god where do we just go all right we're inside here now where he's where is this guy taking me oh we found the golden sonic statue so it's still in the game myth number one is confirmed there's still a golden sonic statue in sonic speed simulator i thought they got rid of this someone said is it true that you can get out of bounds in sonic speed simulator reborn well let's go try it out this guy says no i've tried let's see myth number two you can get out of bounds in sonic speed simulator all right guys meet me at lost valley let's see if this still works all right are we all here okay guys follow me here we go oh this guy got the golden tornado that's pretty sick all right here we go guys come on come on can you guys keep up i'll try to go slow for you all i won't try to go too fast all right people so from back in the day this used to be a glitch right here you should be able to get out right here can we get out oh yeah i'm out can you get out of bounds in sonic speed simulator reborn well guess what guys we just got out of oh my god i just fell no no i don't oh my god no! oh my god i died myth number two is also true you can get out of bounds in sonic speed simulator reborn okay guys myth number three you can afk races join the next race guys says i remember that glitch this guy just transformed into chrome metal sonic and says i'll win the next race all right buddy relax my guy's living in the past okay you're living in the past buddy all right next race is emerald coast it seems like everyone's voting for emerald coast so let's do it all right so we are all in the race and what we're gonna do is just afk i mean this is gonna be the simplest myth to prove or disprove this guy says classic sonic drip gang by the way if you guys aren't in the discord server join the discord server link is down below that's how everybody joins so let's go afk hands off the controller and see what happens all right everyone's running that's not what you're supposed to guys hello that's not what you're supposed to do so we're just sitting here afk and can you afk the races no oh wait that's a new feature actually and it looks like inactivity timeout you have been removed from the race queue for being inactive you see right above my head right here so look myth number three is false you cannot afk races anymore all right myth number four there is a secret game fam logo in the ugc area this guy says yes there is okay well that's a spoiler okay let's let's go check it out someone told me this before but i don't know so we're going over here where is it at? oh my god that supersonic plus he looks fire bro i need that this guy said i saw it one time all right zayden well oh everyone's okay Okay, everyone's over here. Everyone seems to be over here. All right, guys, I can't. Hello, I can't. Hello, I can't see. I can't see it. Everyone's. This guy says move. Yo, guys, move, bro. Oh my God, he's got put back into a race. Hold on, we gotta go back. All right, here we go. We're back. We're back, baby. We are back. Okay, and there it is. There's the secret game fam logo. It's very small and tiny. Who could have ever seen that? But looks like that myth, myth number four, is true. There's a secret game fam logo in the UGC area. Let's move on to myth number five. All right, myth number five. You can boost into the bad nicks in Green Hill to take them out. Let's go test it out all right you guys ready oh my god i got put back in a race again all right here we go we're back baby all right so we got the bad nicks right here everyone's standing right here what is this guy this guy says myth number five is true everyone's saying true this guy says you can all right well let's test it out boom okay looks like we took him out nice all right myth number five is also true you can boost bad nicks in green hill to take them out let's move on to myth number six myth number six you can boost to kill bad nicks in emerald hill all right everyone meet me at emerald hill spawn here we go ah uh, one of my favorite zones i'm not gonna lie i like this place all right, here we are. This guy's classic tales. We're in Emerald Hill. So we got the boost. Uh, I'm sorry. We have the bad nicks over here. You guys see him right here. Look at these guys. Can we boost into them? Oh, wait. Did I just kill him? Did I just take him out? Let's see. Let's see if it actually works. Boom. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Boom. Wait a second. Oh, it looks like it's true. You can boost to take out the bad nicks in uh, Emerald Hill. It looks like that myth has been proven. Oh, wait. What the heck? It like kind of works. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Boom. All right. Here we go. Ready? Boom. 
All right, here we go. Let's try it out. I see a bunch of guys over here. Here we go. Ready? Boom. We took one out. All right, guys. Looks like myth number six is actually true. You can uh, boost to take out the bad nicks in Emerald Hill as well. I did not know that. All right, myth number seven. Sonic cannot take damage from bad nicks. All right, here we go. So we got these guys over here and let's see what happens. Look at all these guys taking out these bad nicks. Let's see what he says. This guy says, um, true IDK. All right, boom. We're hitting him. Boom. We're hitting him. All right. So it looks like we're kind of taking damage. I mean, can Sonic take damage? I mean, does this count? Is it semi true? I'm going to go with the myth that Sonic cannot take damage from bad nicks is false because he does get knocked back a little bit. So let's move on to myth number eight. All right. Next myth. Myth number eight. You can mount or dismount in the air with the new hotkeys, which this is kind of myth in and of itself. If you're on controller, there is a new hotkey to mount and dismount off your hoverboard. So if you guys look, I'm on the hoverboard. I'm off the hoverboard. I'm on the hoverboard. I'm using my controller, by the way. I'm not like, you see how you can do that? This, like, like I said, in and of itself may be a myth. Like, honestly, some of you guys didn't even know this is possible. So right on the D-pad, we'll let you go on your tornado and left on the D-pad, we'll get you on your hoverboard. Is it? Yeah, left on the D-pad, we'll get you on your hoverboard. So with that being said, let's see if we can do this in midair. So we are going to get onto our tornado. We're on the tornado. All right, we're dismounting and we're trying to press it back. We're trying to press it back. So you cannot mount, you cannot mount in midair or dismount really because, all right, so the myth number eight is actually false. You cannot mount in midair with the new hotkey. All right, let's move on to myth number nine. All right, who has myths? This guy says me. Okay, okay, what is it? What's your myth, buddy? The max you can stay in a race is three minutes. That's a myth. Okay, let's test it. Myth number nine. Let's trigger out a, let's toggle a race, everybody. All right, here we go. We're doing a race myth. Here we go. This guy says I'm gonna get beaten by Sonica, who's the go? Yeah, you probably will, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, I mean, we gotta sit in here for over three minutes, so I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do. I guess we can kind of just sit here. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I could smoke my viewers in a race right now, because that's kind of what I do, man. That's kind of what I do. I know some of you guys know this crazy trick in this level, but I'm not really, uh, that's not really what I'm about, all right? I'm not trying to glitch, all right? We're trying to do everything within the actual correct- Ah, I just died! All right, whatever, whatever, who cares? Okay. I don't care. Right. Whatever. Let's see if we can stay in here for three minutes, okay? All right, guys, we're currently at a minute and 20 seconds, so, so far, that's what? How long of a race is that? That's, uh, wait, Metal Sonic? What is Metal Sonic doing out there? I don't know what he's doing. Okay, anyway, I don't know if that means he Oh, wait, what the heck? Did I just get out of the race? Did I just get out of the race? Hey, wait, whoa. what just happened? All right, um, I guess that was a little bit less than three minutes, so it looks like that myth, myth number nine, is false. The max race limit is not three minutes. I don't even know what it is. All right, here we go. Myth number 10. You can use a tornado in the Metal Madness race. Let's check it out. All right, we're hopping on our mount, and whoa, we can't equip it. No, can we do a hoverboard? Oh, you can do a hoverboard. All right, so myth number 10 is false. You cannot equip a tornado in the Metal Madness race. Who would have thought? It's cool you can do a hoverboard, though. I do like that. Let's move on to myth number 11. All right, we made it into New York City. All right, here's the next myth. You can boost to kill the bad nicks in New York City. I hope you guys can see that. All right, all right, guys. Let's go find him. This guy says, never mind. What do you mean? Yo, we're all clapping. Yo, why is this guy big the cat, bro? Stop. All right, anyways, here we go. Let's go down. Oh, look at everybody going right now. All right, here we go. Ready? Boom. And did we take him out? Did we take him out? Uh, all right, here we go. Let's try this again. Ready? Boom. Uh, okay, is it not working? Let's I'm try again. Ready. Boom. No. Wow, you cannot boost to kill these? Is I'm that true? Ready. Boom. Uh, I don't think you can do it, guys. Wait, ready? Boom. Wow, looks like that myth. Myth number 11. You can boost. This guy says it's true. No, it's not true. Look, it's not true, brother. True. It's not true. This guy tails bubble. It's not true. Look, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not. I'm not doing it. It's not working. You cannot boost the kill. Oh. Everyone here is saying it's true. It's not true. Look. All right. Here. Here's here's definitive proof. Boom. I'm going in. I'm going in. Ready? Try again. Nope. All right. Let's try again. Ready? Boom. Yeah. It doesn't work, bro. It does not work. You cannot boost to kill the bad nicks. All right. Myth number eleven is false. Okay. This guy says you have to jump first. I tried boosting into him normally. Yeah, bro. That's what I tried to do too. Already. Okay. You can do it in the air. That doesn't count. Though. I'm talking about like boost, like just straight up boost. Kill him with just boost. That's kind of a jump, right? Like you're technically jumping. You see that? All right. Anyways, yeah. The myth is false. Okay, guys, stop. Let's move on to the next one. That brings us to myth number 12. You can kill them with a spin dash. Let's go check it out. Follow me, guys. Hello. Can you guys follow me? Let's see if these guys can keep up. Some of them will keep up. Some of you guys will see me. Some of you guys might not. Okay, they're all in the middle. They're having fun. All right. See you later, guys. All right. Let's go see if myth number 12 is true and see if we can kill them with a spin dash. Ready? Boom. Wait, did I just go through his legs? Let's see. Let's see. I'm spin dash. I'm literally spin dashing him. Wow. You literally can't kill him with a spin dash either. Look at that. Myth number 12. You can kill the bad nicks in New York City with a spin dash is also false. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, who's got a myth for me? Mystic says me. This guy says, hey, Sonic Up, how's your day so far? Yo, Tails, the bubble whisperer, my day's going pretty good, thanks. All right, what is it? Can you get up? This guy's just sitting on the floor. Get up and tell me your myth. There we go, he's up. He says, do you get a jump boost when you drop dash a bad nick at the peak of your jump? I don't know what you mean by that. Do you get a jump boost when you drop dash a bad nick at the peak of your 
jump. Let's try it out. All right, we're gonna get, try to get a jump boost. Here we go. Ready? Boom and boom. Oh, it looks like you can spin dash off of it. Well, it looks like you can drop dash onto them. Right, ready? Boom. And you get a little boost. Okay, so I think that myth is true. You do get a little jump boost if you uh, drop dash a bad Nick and then spin dash off of it. Okay, that myth is true. Let's move on to myth number 14. Here is the last myth. You get a faster spin dash if you do it off a ledge. Let's check it out. So this is some speed running tech, honestly, in my opinion, in Sonic Speed Simulator. So let's see if this works. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go up in the air. We're gonna jump down. We're gonna spin dash and boom. I don't know if that was fast enough though. Let's see if we can get another ledge. Here we go. Let's try this. Let's go up in the air. Here we go. We're up. We're up. We got some speed. We got some speed. Let's go on to this thing and no, uh, wait. Oops, that did not work. This is almost like a quasi trick shot right here. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Ready? Boom. Oh yeah, you do get a little boost. Did you guys see that? Wait, look at that. Ready? Boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Wait, hold up. If you spin dash off a ledge, you get a little boost. Wait, you guys just saw that. I'm telling you, you guys just saw that. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Look at that. Ready? So if you go off this, you get like a faster spin dash. This is actually this myth is confirmed. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? We're gonna go off this and boom. All right, best place to actually truly prove or disprove this would be in the Emerald Coast race, so you guys can get a better example of this. So you see all my viewers going over here. I gotta smoke these guys. I gotta go fast, baby. That's what I gotta do, baby. That's what we gotta do, baby. All right, so we are approaching a nice stable ramp that we can boost off of. Here we go. Ready? We're in midair, and boom! You get a very fast spin dash in midair if you do it off of a ledge. This myth is confirmed. This myth is 100% true. Way faster than the regular spin dash. You see that right there? So it looks like myth number 14 has been confirmed to be true. Here's a myth. Supersonic can one-shot the motobugs just by touching them. All right, we're in Green Hill, and this guy says, I am a fan. Yo, thank. Uh, I can't spell. Yo, thanks. Yo, I can't even capitalize. This guy says, hi, Sonic. Uh, you, got me, you made a uh, typo as well, buddy. All right, so let's go test this myth. Here we go. We're flying around Green Hill, and let's go find the motobugs. There they are right there. Look at these little guys. Who do these guys think they are? And look at their goofy little teeth, man. I, I can't wait to take these guys out, I swear. But here we go. Let's just walk into them, and oh my goodness, look at this, bro. Hold up. Look at this. Ready? Boom. Yo, he like, yo, he like explodes them, dude. That's actually insane. So the bad nicks are one shot from supersonic. Would you look at that? Looks like the myth has been confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Supersonic is invincible to lava. All right, we're gonna go head over to Hilltop. Let's freaking go. Oh, this guy is supersonic too, bro. What? All right, everyone, come with me to Hilltop. We are busting myths. Here we go, guys. We're going to Hilltop. Let's go, everybody. Come on. I, who remembers the good old days when we used to do videos like this with the viewers and stuff like that? It used to be really fun. All right, here we go. Let's freaking go. All right, there's lava right there, actually. So here we go. We're gonna try something pretty crazy. Let's see what happens to Supersonic if we jump down and what's gonna happen to him? And what's it? Oh, oh, he died. He's dead. Wait, Supersonic is back at spawn. Is he back at spawn? I have no idea. I think he, uh, I guess he just died to the, wait, where is he? Where am I? How did I end up over here? Wait, what the, how did I end up right there? All right, let's just, let's just try it again. Let's not, let's not be dramatic. Okay, so he died. Myth has been busted. I guess Supersonic isn't invincible after all. That's not very faithful to the classic games, but all right, let's move on. Here's the next myth. Supersonic will one shot any enemy that touches him. All right, here we go. We're back in Hilltop and let's go find some enemies because we one-shotted those bad nicks, but we weren't able to one-shot these guys, are we? Let's see. Hold on, I'm flying around. Where are the bad nicks here? I know where the bad nicks are. All right, there's there's some down here, but I, I, I can't even touch those ones. I know there's some up. Okay, th there they are. There they are. We got these guys. Yo, look at this. Oh my goodness, this guy is... What? Who, yo, who, who hurt you, bro? All right, here we go. We got Supersonic, and we're gonna try to touch him, and... Oh, whoa, whoa! Supersonic does not one-shot the bad nicks. Look at this. Boom! Oh my god, not only does he not one-shot them, he got kind of cooked. Wait, he's, he's going down right there. Oh my god. Goodness. Myth has been busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Supersonic can fly during the races. We are in beautiful city escape. A bustling environment and thriving city with an amazing racetrack. But we're going to put this to the test. Can we fly during the races? Because that would be like insane. All right, here we go. All right, we're flying. And all right, this is obviously the worst way to test it out. Hold up. Let me let me, let me get the flat ground real quick because that was not uh, the way we wanted to do it. All right, here we go. We got Supersonic. We got some nice flat ground. Let's see if this guy is an absolute racing cheat code. All right, here we go. And we're flying up. And it looks like... Let's see. Wait, hold up. Let's see. So you know how he flies in the regular world, right? All right, so here we go. And it looks like they disabled his flight for the racing. Look at that. So look, he's flying. He has a fly... His boosting animation is him flying, but he clearly descends. So it looks like that myth is false. Just for good measure, like if you guys are in the hub world, if he flies, he's on a straight linear line. If you look right here. So it looks like my boy cannot fly in races. I actually like that. I think that's a good thing. But again, the myth has been busted.
busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Supersonic is invincible to Eggman's lasers. All right, here we are, guys. Let's go in here and let's go take on goofy old Eggman. Look at him. I gotta say, I almost forgot there was an Eggman boss battle in this game. Credit to the dev team for even implementing this into the game. But everyone knows his signature move, which is shooting out these little missiles right here, but also shooting out this signature laser. Like, look at this guy. He's Look, look how mad he is, bro. <laughs> look at him, bro. So here we go. We gotta try and get hit by him. Let's go, everybody. Are you guys all here? Are you guys ready to go? Here we go, guys. All right, there's the lasers. And look, look. So these will typically freeze you. Like, look at this guy. He just got frozen right there. My boy is frozen, but I am getting hit by the lasers. It's supersonic. And I cannot be hit by Eggman's lasers. And this is because supersonic is supposed to be invincible, according to the creators of Sonic. So this is actually really interesting. So it looks like the myth has been confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Supersonic can fly during the Eggman boss battle. Again, we're back. Let's, let's. Oh my God, this guy's frozen. Let me get you, bro. I, I got you, bro. Yo, bro. I got you, bro. Who is that? I don't even know who that is, but I'll see you later, man. All right, here we go. So we're in the Eggman boss battle and let's see. Can we fly? Ooh. Ooh, he, wait, wait. His flight is actually disabled in the boss battles. I thought he'd be able to fly, to be honest. That's pretty crazy. So the myth that Super Sonic can fly during the Eggman boss battle is busted. Let's move on to the next myth. Here's the next myth. Super Sonic is the fastest character in Sonic Speed Simulator. All right, so there's one way and one way to test this only. So we're gonna go into Emerald Hill Time Trial 1 to truly put this one to the test. So if you look right here, we got a little bit of a boost and oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the boost. So we are running currently. Let's fly. I love the fact that this dude can fly, man. This is actually crazy. So we go up, we go up. And with that being said, boom, 19 seconds on the time trial. Let's go ahead and equip our regular Sonic and see what happens when we do the time trial. All right, here we go. And let's zoom. I'll try my best. I'll try any speed running tactics that I have to do this, but um oh yeah there we go here we go we're boosting and we are running through as fast as possible we're you know i'm doing pretty good but here's the thing guys we were only able i kind of scuffed a little bit but 27 seconds now there's a lot of factors that go into a speed run time trial type thing getting the best time but there's some science to this for the first time ever in sonic speed simulator there is a difference in baseline speed between the characters this is 100 percent confirmed super sonic has two times the speed with his boosting so not his baseline speed but his boosting speed is twice as fast as the other characters, which is why I was able to complete the time trial faster. In addition to the boosting speed, his stamina drains one third slower than regular characters. So the new meta for completing time trials is definitely firing up our boy Super Sonic because he has a clear advantage over the other characters. Let's move on to the next myth. Here's the next myth. Super Sonic flying counts towards the airtime requirement for your daily quests. This guy says Sonic Hub. Yo. Yo, sup? Got anything to say to YT? He says I will give you a free skin. All right, you got bro he says sonic bro i don't want sonic but hey listen he's got a cool name his name is sonic hub 77 there's a lot of fake sonic cubs out there man this guy says hi sonic cub big fan yo thanks bro sonic yo every, yo oh my god every, you guys are crazy all right so we gotta test yeah right, i'm getting distracted all right let's go ahead and test this myth so we're gonna fly and let's see what happens because he's clearly flying if we stay like low to the ground right like we're collecting all these uh oh my god my computer is like lagging right now so let's see what happens let's see what happens we're flying around green hell dude this is just like so fun bro like look at me go man look at this bro all right let's drop and let's check our adventures because luckily enough i had the airtime requirement and it looks like that myth is true supersonic's flight counts towards the total airtime here's the next myth if supersonic is already boosting when he jumps he will not fly this is actually a really simple one to test so when he boosts as you see right here he flies very cool he goes upwards a little bit I, like i said i wish he had 360 movement and can go up and down a little bit easier but let's put this to the test because he can also boost on the ground so what happens if you're on the ground boosting and then you jump will he fly and no he won't he won't fly look at that he has a downwards falling animation and he only flies if you boost after jumping looks like the myth has been confirmed let's move on to the next one here's the next myth the neo metal sonic boss fight was originally impossible to s rank in case you've been living under a rock they added a neo metal sonic supersonic boss fight into the game and i gotta say shout out to the devs for creating something absolutely spectacular so in this boss battle you can actually get a ranking for defeating him similar to previous sonic games obviously the best rank being an s rank however when the update first dropped it was 
was originally impossible to get an S rank, as I confirmed with the devs, but they recently published a hotfix which now allows more ore placement, which will allow you to get an S rank in the boss battle. So the myth that originally the Neo Metal Sonic boss fight was impossible to S rank is actually true, but now it's been fixed. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Shout out to all the viewers right here that participated. If you guys have any more myths you want me to bust in Sonic Speed Simulator, let me know down below in the comments. This guy says he's watching a video of me. Well, guess what, bro? I hope you watch this one because you're in it. Let me know if you guys want more Sonic Speed Simulator content, you know, less news stuff and more cool stuff like this. It's good to be back. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. All right, here's the myth. Metal skins in the game in Sonic Speed Simulator cannot drown. Let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna go underwater. All right, everyone, let's go, guys. We're gonna walk the plank. Come on, guys. Come on, everybody. We gotta go walk the plank right here. All right, all right, everyone. We're gonna be walking the plank. Here we go. Oh, this guy already went. Let's go, guys. Three, two, one, and go. We're walking the plank, everyone. Oh my God. All right, so as you guys see, we have like a little counter right there if you're like a regular humanoid anthropomorphic character let's go ahead and switch to a robot character and see if we will drown clearly you guys see that we can drown all right we have swapped over to fake metal sonic just to test it out let's see if this guy can drown and if you look at that the robot characters do not have any way to drown even the fake metals the android shadows the metal sonics the omegas all of them can not drown the myth that robots can't drown in sonic speed simulator is actually confirmed here's a myth none of the non-robot characters can breathe underwater unlimitedly all right looks like everyone's ready to walk the plank right now but look if we walk the plank right now with any of like the mammal characters that aren't robots you have this little timer right here that says uh you know you're about to drown is this the case for every character all right i just realized i'm on the testing server so i can't do this hold up this guy's gonna help me out real quick give me a second give me a second all right all right thank you to this guy who just traded to me so there's one character that can apparently breathe underwater and his name is adventure knuckles and do you guys know why well you gotta look at his neck right here do you guys see what he has on his neck if you did not know this in Sonic Adventure 2, Knuckles has a power-up where he can breathe underwater unlimitedly with the air necklace. So does this work in Sonic Speed Simulator? Well, let's put it to the test. And wow, would you look at that? He has no air timer. So Adventure Knuckles can breathe underwater unlimitedly because he has the power-up on his necklace. So the myth that only robot characters can breathe underwater unlimitedly is actually false. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here's a myth. Vector can survive underwater longer than the other characters. All right, so this is going to be pretty simple to test. Why don't we get a regular Sonic character? character and let's go see what happens ready 60 seconds right 60 seconds for my boy sonic okay let's try with a character like vector let's see what happens oh 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 my god oh my god all right we are swapping over to vector there he is guys let's go see if this guy can survive underwater longer than everyone else all right here we go and look at that 75 seconds he has a longer drowning time than the other characters i guess it's because he's a reptile do croc i mean he is a crocodile right crocodiles like survive in water longer but if you look at a little bit closer and you inspect he has a plus 15 stat that actually allows him to breathe underwater longer so that is pretty interesting that myth is confirmed here's the next myth chaos sonic is now in sonic speed simulator oh my god there he is oh my god there he is bro chaos sonic oh my god wait where'd he go we gotta go catch him we gotta go catch him oh no where is he at there he is wait let's see let's see his animation oh he's got cool animations look at that oh we missed him we missed him there he is right there Dude, Chaos Sonic is in the game. It is confirmed. Chaos Sonic is in the game, bro. I would have never even thought to do a race if someone didn't come here and tell me to do that. Bro. Wait, let's get a good look at him. Look at him, man. He looks, yo, he looks good in this game. I gotta say, he, he looks really good. There he is. For those of you wondering if Chaos Sonic was in the game. Oh, he's in the game, all right. Yo, he looks low-key. He look, low key looks almost cooler than Metal Sonic in this game. Looks like that myth has been confirmed. Here's the next myth. There's a secret Nibrock logo in Sonic Speed Simulator. Yeah, so that's it right there. Yo, Chipmunk. Yo, Chipmunk found it right there. I, I wouldn't even notice that. I actually would not have noticed that. Now, it's ambiguous, right? Like, it could be not be it, but it looks, it looks kind of similar to it. You know what I'm saying? That might be a Nibrock rock easter egg for sure that just might be it wow looks like that myth has been confirmed here's the next myth you cannot drown if your head is above the water in no place look at this guys oh 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 oh, oh. look at this so look look at this i have the countdown timer despite the fact that knuckles is not underwater you guys see it right here you can look at it his mouth yo get out of my way yo get out of the way all right look despite the fact that he's not underwater you can see his mouth is above water but the countdown timer is going so i think you can drown technically without not being in the water look at that he's look look at that look at this guys 
Look at everyone over here. Everyone's all over, but look, he is not underwater right there, and he's gonna drown. Look at that. Five, four, three, two, one, and oh, there he goes. My boy drowned. That is a busted myth right there. All right, here's a myth. All extreme gear can float on the water. This one right here, the hard-boiled hoverboard. Let's see what happens when we go on the water, and oh, look at that. We are floating. We are absolutely floating. And just to, you know, be sure, we'll try another one. We'll try like a, uh, let's try, is there any like not good hoverboards? Is there like a, everything's purple. All right, this one's green. Let's see if the green one can do it. Yeah, the green one does it too. Look at that. This guy's on the ship. Look at the ship. The ship is literally going. Look at the ship. Yeah, all extreme hoverboard, all extreme gear hoverboard, you can actually float on the water with. So that is confirmed. Here's the next myth. You cannot equip hoverboards underwater. All right, so we are underwater and let me try to equip a hoverboard. Let's see if it works. And oh, he automatically falls off of the hoverboard. That is crazy. Hold up. What the heck? All right, let's try with the new pirate ship hoverboard, which we were able to unlock. And would you look at that? Would you look at that? The hoverboard pirate ship thing, it actually works. It actually works. Would you look at that? So this is like one of the few ones you can equip underwater. So the myth that you can't equip hoverboards underwater is actually busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You can equip the magic carpet hoverboard underwater. All right, this is gonna be very simple to prove or disprove. I wanna see if this works. The scrap board does not work. Okay, Um, the magic carpet hoverboard, here it is. And wow, would you look at that? This one, for some reason, I guess because it flies maybe, this one, for some reason, out of all the uh, hoverboards in the game, you can equip this one underwater. So that myth is actually confirmed. It looks like in general, there's like a certain class of hoverboards you can equip. Like this one right here, I'm able to do this one. This is the, uh, is this a seasonal? I think seasonals you can do underwater. I'm using the, uh, yeah, the snowboard seasonal. Let's see if the broomstick works. Yeah, seasonal. Seasonals you can equip underwater from what it looks like. All the seasonals I've gotten so far actually work. So that is a pretty cool myth. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You cannot swap characters underwater. Again, a pretty easy one to test. We're underwater and, oh my God, I'm about to drown. But as you guys see, I was not, wait, hold on. Let's, let's get a better look. Hold on. Let's, let's shoot down here real quick. And. And yet, you cannot swap characters underwater. This is probably due to the underwater breathing thing. So it looks like that myth is confirmed. It swap characters underwater. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. An enchanting table from Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0 is actually in the brand new update. As a longtime vet of Sonic Speed Simulator, one of the things that used to be in the game that was super cool was the enchantment table. And it used to be right here in Green Hill, for those of you who remember. With the enchanting table, you could increase your XP, speed, power, rings, luck, magnet, any event manually. You didn't have to do this by like luck of the draw with events and stuff like that. So is this in the new update? Well, kind of. Let's go check it out. So if you look in the very same spot right over here where it used to be, the Lost Valley Portal, where is it? Where are you, buddy? All right. And if you look right here, there is a broken enchantment table, which actually has a water bubble there. So clearly the devs wanted you to find this. This enchanting table is from SSS 1.0. This is from an alternate timeline for Sonic Speed Simulator where uh, enchanting existed. But myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Every character can boost like supersonic in no place. So in SSS 2.0, obviously they introduced the boost as you see right here. And if you look right here, if the character boosts in the air, he can only boost once. That is until supersonic was introduced into the game. As you may or may not know, supersonic can boost and then stop and then boost. And he can boost as many times as you want in midair. So in no place and every character boosts like supersonic. Well, let's put it to the test. All right, we're back in no place and we have switched to the GOAT classic Sonic. Let's see if he can boost just like supersonic. Um, what is this guy? Hey, yo, hey buddy. Hey, hey, what are you doing over there? Wait, what, what is this guy? Hello? Wait, what, 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 is, what is this guy doing in here? Hello, sir? Oh, he just, oh, he just disappeared. All right, enough of that. Let's put it to the test. So here we go. Classic Sonic, we're underwater and boost. Now let's see if he can boost again. Oh, he can boost again. Look at that. Look at that, dude. He can, it's almost like he can fly. He's not quite as fast as Supersonic is, but uh, his energy doesn't drain as slow as Supersonic's does, but he can kind of almost fly. Look at that. So you can boost multiple times in the air and his boost functions similar to Supersonic. So the myth that other characters function like Supersonic with the boost in no place is actually true. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You cannot jump out of no place if you're all the way at the bottom. Oh my God. This guy says, when's the next? video uh i said uh you'll see he says he's a big fan all right thanks buddy oh wait this is the guy that actually traded me the uh the thing can you friend request me can't buddy all right, i gotta go gotta get out of here all right so we're at the bottom right and let's try to jump oh we can't jump out of the water or can we look at that you can just keep pressing the a button you can keep pressing the a button and you will make it out of the water look at that so the myth that you cannot jump out of the water from the bottom in no place is actually busted let's move on oh my god i'm gonna make it oh oh oh, oh yep oh no 
Nope, not gonna make it. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. The secret cave from Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0 is in the new update. For those of you who may or may not remember, the original water world in Green Reef had a secret Eggman lair, which we theorized and speculated about forever, about potentially being important, but nothing ever materialized with that. But let's go see if it's in the new world. Everyone follow me, all right, guys? You guys, uh, I just found a bunch of people over here. I was AFK for a little bit. Come on, guys. All right, ready? We're gonna jump down. Are you guys ready? All right, walk the, uh, we're not even on the plank, but we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go down. And if you look right over here, actually, ironically enough, this is where the old chemical plant entrance used to be. But if you look right here, there is the secret entrance right here. This right here is a nod to Green Reef from Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0. Extremely cool, and obviously, we were supposed to discover it because there's a treasure chest here. Myth has been confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Dread's boat is the only reference from Sonic Prime in no place. So if you think about it, you never actually go underwater in Sonic Prime, so you don't really know what's down there for the most part. So is Dread's boat the only reference from Sonic Prime in this world? Well, if you look all the way over here at that island right there, does this island look familiar to you? This island right here is actually a reference to no place where when Sonic first falls into no place, he lands on this island right here, which is where all the pirates discover him. It was literally the first thing I noticed, but that myth is busted. Myth number one, no place Sonic can run on the water. So if you've watched Sonic Prime, you know that Nine's tech allows Sonic to run on the water in no place. So can no place Sonic do the same in Sonic Speed Simulator? Well, let's put it to the test. All right, so this is gonna be actually one of the easier ones to test out. So here we go, we're going down and oh! Oh, he's going off into the abyss. I don't think he can do it. Let's give it another shot. All right, let's try again. And why won't he do it? Well, oh, there it is. There it is. He can actually, wait, hold up. He can actually stand on the water because of his little boots right here. These things are drippy, bro. Look at that. We can run in the water. We can boost. We can just, oh, if he spin dashes, he actually goes down. Okay, so you actually have to reset it with a boost. Okay, there we go. All right, so myth number one, no place Sonic can stand on the water is actually confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You can go inside the ship in no place, but also there's a secret CD in there. All right, here we are. Look at all these guys over here. What's, what's going on over here? Okay, so guys, look, I'm not even gonna say it. Just, just follow me. Let's see if they patch this. And oh, 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 did they patch it? No, they patched it. Wait, let's see. I think we can go over here. Did they patch it? Let's try in here. Let's try in here. Oh, we made it inside. We made it inside. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this CD right here? Wait, what the heck is this? Dude, what? No, wait, that's actually crazy. Is this is this supposed to be here? Can I like collect this or something? Does anyone know what the purpose of this is? Is this like an Easter egg? It's a CD, right? I mean, this this is definitely uh this is definitely a CD, no? I don't know if that was there before, but it looks like that myth is actually confirmed. This gotta be out of all the things that we've done, this has to be the craziest one. Here's the next myth. None of the characters can float. All right, here we go, guys. This guy says sup number one. Are you calling me number one? One. Thank you. Oh, hey, thanks. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to Big the Cat. The reason why I want to test this character is because he has a life jacket, and this is from SA1. If you are a true Sonic fan and you played the best Sonic game of all time, Sonic Adventure 1, you will know that Big the Cat has a floaty belt device that he uses as an upgrade in SA1, which, you guessed it, allows him to float. Who would have thought? So he has this in Sonic Speed Simulator, so let's put this to the test. All right, everybody, let's float. Here we go, guys. Ready? Three, two, one, and what happens? What happens? And oh! Oh my goodness, Big the Cat can float. Look at this. Look at all of us go. Oh my goodness, guys. I may or may not have suggested this being a thing in the game. But look at this, guys. Look at Big the Cat. Look at all of this floating, dude. All the characters that have their adventure power-ups, so far, no place are seemingly working. If you've watched episode one, you would know this. But yeah, guys, that myth that no characters can float is actually busted. Can we go down? Can we actually still go down, though? Like, what happens when you're in no place? Yeah, look at that. You can... Look, he still goes up to the top. Like, you can go to the ground. Okay, so he sticks to the ground. He boosts. But if you jump, he goes up. Look at that. No hands on. But yeah, myth is busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Characters can now boost on top of the water. Again, attention to detail is absolutely on point. If you've ever played a Sonic boosting game, you would know that Sonic has the ability to run on top of water so long as he's boosting. If he stops boosting, then he will drown because you know that Sonic can't swim. So let's go ahead and swap to the most basic of all characters. This is baseline level Sonic. Let's see what happens when we go on the water. Let's start boosting and look at that. Sonic can run on the... Oh, 
Oh, but we ran out of energy. And now we are floating. Goodbye, Sonic. I'll see you later. Look at that. I feel so bad. I feel like I've just like let Sonic die. Goodbye, man. But yes, it's true. Characters can now boost on water. That myth is confirmed. Incredible level of detail. It's crazy that this world is really bringing out the best in some of the Easter eggs and secrets that the developers have to offer. Let's move on to the next one. Here's a myth. You cannot make it to the secret island near Dread Ship. So this island right here is clearly a reference to the show. Now, for those of you who have watched Sonic Prime, you know that Sonic lands on a little island right here where he's discovered by all the pirates. All right, so apparently we can get out there. So let's see how we do it. All right, he says, follow me. All right, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get out to that island because a lot of people have been saying it's possible. Uh oh, let's see if we can do it. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, okay. All right, is he going down? I think I lost him. I think I, oh, I no, did I lose him? Two hours later. Let's see, let's see if we can do it now. Let's, let's give it a shot. A lot of people have been saying that this is possible, apparently. I don't know, but we're all floating on the water here. Look at everyone go, man. Look at, okay, we're gonna go over here. All right, now what? Now, oh, do we go over here? So right here, this rock, maybe? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, I see a bunch of people over here. We're gonna exit our mount. Two hours later. Oh, I made it out of the map. I made it out. I made it out. Oh my God. I actually made it out. No freaking way. I did not think it was actually possible to do this. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's go up now. I made it. Look at everybody, yo. Look at everybody swimming up, dude. This is actually nuts. Wait, wait. Oh my God. Wait, there's actually collision over there too. Are we going to make it? Yes, we made it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my God. I don't know how I did that. I was literally just like jumping around for a little bit. Oh, this has no collision over here though. Look at that. This island has no collision. We made it. We made it. Me and this guy made it. This guy says, I made it, boys. We did it. I gotta say, this island should have been accessible, man. Look at this view we got over here. I mean, there we go. We got, oh, we got, we got the whole gang here, man. Everybody's here. Let's freaking go. He says, what if I told you? What are you gonna tell us? There's another island. Oh my, y'all, you're gonna make my head explode right now. Even further out? Um, okay, where do we go? Somewhere that way. Dude, these guys are, these guys are good. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall, don't fall. That way, all right. This way, straight ahead. But it would take hours to find. Is this a troll? Who has hours to spare? Let me know what you find. Oh, everyone just went. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're going to go. Oh, wait. I don't have. Wait. I just realized we can keep going. We can wait. We actually could keep going. Theoretically, you could do this on a tornado or something like that. But then again, this could just be another myth or something like that. But there might be an island out there. According to the dad, I don't know, man. Listen. I, oh, I should have hopped on a hoverboard. I'm so stupid. But it looks like that myth has been busted. Here's the next myth doubloons now spawn in races. All right. So this should be pretty easy to test out. And look at that. What do we see? We're in a race, but we also see the doubloons. Wait, let's see if there's anything cool on it. Oh, there's like a little treasure chest on it. Looks very cool. So the myth that there are doubloons in races is actually true. So if you want a quick way to farm some race tickets and some doubloons, you can go ahead and do that if you want. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Angler Big the Cat has a custom swimming animation if you're underwater. Just when you thought we were done with the go. Oh, this guy says sub to Sonic Hub. You guys know what to do, all right? All right, let's give it a shot. So we're gonna go down and what is this custom swimming animation? Let's see what he's got. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look. Look, he does. When you boost. I, I guess when you boost, right? Is it when you boost or is it when you're up in the air? Let's see. Let's go down here real quick. Okay. Wait, how about I try this? Let's try that. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. So when you boost, it triggers a swimming animation. That is extremely cool. I got to say that's awesome. So it looks like that myth is actually confirmed. I was not expecting that. Wonder if Big can run in the water. Yeah, he can run in the water too, which is kind of cool. Here's the next myth. Rusty Rose now has brand new animations. All right, let's swap over to Rusty Rose. Let's see if she has some new animations. I think that wave right there was from season two or season three. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's see if she... Oh, yeah, she has new... Oh, my God. Her animations are so much more improved. Yeah, here she is. All right, ready? So she has a little startup. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know how accurate it is to the show. Like, honestly, I don't even know how she runs in the show, but it just looks a lot smoother because the animated strike is an absolute go. And yeah, these look way better than the original ones. If you guys remember the original ones, they were definitely not that fluid or smooth as these ones. Let me show you guys real quick. SSS 1.0, they were a lot more stiff. Look at this, like, robotic, choppy walking animation. I mean, it's kind of cool, but as you can tell, definitely not as smooth as the new one, but it looks like that myth that Rusty Rose has new animations is actually true. Here's the next myth. You cannot use a flying mount underwater. Completely forgot to show you guys this last week, so let's go underwater real quick. Let's 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 run through this real quick. Let's not waste any time. So if you try to use any of these mounts underwater, what happens? The mount literally despawns, but there's one secret mount, one secret flying mount that actually allows you to fly underwater, and that is Fang's Marvelous Queen. But it looks 
Looks like that myth has been busted. Here's the next myth. There is no possible way to switch characters underwater. So for those of you who watched last week's episode, you would know that if a character goes underwater, there's no way to swap to them. And the reason being is because the robot characters can actually breathe underwater unlimitedly, I'm guessing. So it looks like that myth is true, right? Well, it's a little complicated. So according to this commenter on last week's Mythbuster episode, he said he managed to change his character underwater. If you have a character selected right before you dive in, two things will happen. If your equipped character needed oxygen, they will instantly drown. If your character doesn't, you get the point. And I said, interesting. So can we bypass some of the game's mechanics? Well, let's test it out. All right, so I have the ability to change my character when I'm above water. All right, so this is what we have to do. We're gonna have to jump and then hold the menu open and let's see what happens. Let's let him float for a little bit because I don't know what's gonna happen. Here we go. All right, here we go. Now let's try to switch over to Sonic and wow, look at that. You were able to switch characters underwater and it looks like it bypasses the filter for the water too. So you get like another look at no place and how it looks underwater. This is actually pretty cool. Very, very cool. It looks like my previous myth isn't technically busted because the game's mechanics don't allow for you to do it, but this is like a new way to attack the possibility of it through clever mechanics. So it looks like that myth is actually busted let's move on to the next one here's the next myth shooting air bubbles will give you oxygen all right so you guys probably saw my guide video already and i probably should have done this last week but let's hop on the marvelous queen real quick and you'll see my oxygen levels what happens if we shoot the air bubbles ready boom and it gives you more oxygen so for those of you doing the quest to shoot the air bubbles um guess what it works i don't know how this is like physically impossible looks like that myth is confirmed all right you guys ready to bust some myths or what this guy says yo bro yo what's up this cream the rabbit over here says yeah all right let's do it then let's do it myth number one there's a secret easter egg to sneak into the brand new racing world so as you may or may not know there there's a brand new QOL feature that introduces a racing world into the game. Anything you could possibly need for racing is definitely featured right here. It's a very welcome change and a much needed QOL that the game desperately needed. So can you sneak into this brand new world? Well, let's put it to the test. All right, everyone follow me. This guy says it's him. Hey, as long as you know that I'm him, bro. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Uh, here is the racing hub. And if you go right over here, if you sneak in, there's a button right there. Look at that, sneak in. This guy says also, yo, I'm big, okay. All right, so yeah, we're gonna sneak in and boom, we're in to the racing world. So it looks like the myth that you can sneak into the racing world from the outside is actually confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. If you go outside of the racing world, it's actually a rocket. All right, this should be pretty easy to test out. This guy says, Sonic Hub, did you get the Rouge skin yet? Yes, my boy, I got the Rouge skin. She's right here, bro. Hey, there she is. But all right, so this is how we're gonna put this to the test. Very simply, we come outside. Here's the outside of the racing world. It's actually a rocket and it looks like there's kind of like a great beyond out there i wonder if there's a way to actually find this place you know if you like scout around the map or something i don't really see anything but all i know is i see a myth that is confirmed let's move on to the next one here's the next myth the blooms for the chaos sonic event spawn in every single racetrack all right everyone join an action race all right so we're gonna have to go into here and select an action race i gotta say i really love the system let's do green hill race i guess everyone pick green hill probably the best one to uh farm stuff you know what i mean all right everybody we are in the race i really wish that i could just like beat everyone in a race right now but i kind of want to see if these doubloons are here all right here we go we're racing and all right i see that the blooms the blooms are in a race here they are right here look at the attention to detail with a little treasure chest on them so it looks like it's confirmed well, let's keep going. All right, so for the next race, we are now in No Place, which is the brand new drag race track. It's actually really cool. So let's see if there's any doubloons, though. All right, here we go. So, I mean, No Place is where the doubloons are literally, like, what the requirement is for, but I'm looking around, and I don't see any. There are no doubloons in this racetrack. Wow. Look at you. So if they're not a No Place um, racetrack, then you're probably not going to find them in any of them, actually. All right, and let's keep hunting. All right, next racetrack is Hilltop. Let's see if there's any doubloons. It looks like as of right now, there's still some doubloons in this racetrack. So I guess no place is at least one of the racetracks that does not have doubloons. I don't think the Green Hill one has one either, but it looks like that myth is busted. You cannot get doubloons in every racetrack. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Race Suit Silver has the wrong animations, at least on the test servers. All right, here we are. So we are going to go find Race Suit Silver. How's everyone doing? What's Oh, this guy, wait, there's a fake, so yo, this guy is fake Sonic Hub right here. What the heck? All right, anyways, oh, this guy says you Sonic Hub. No, I am 
Exotic Hub. What the heck, man? So here we go. Here is Race Suit Silver. And oh my goodness, Silver is his little things right here are flapping. And would you look at that? Those are actually Rouge the Bass animations. I wonder if the actual Race Suit Silver has those animations as well. Oh, by the way, there's a little shop right here. I never even noticed that. So yeah, there's some new fast friends if you guys are interested. But yeah, Silver does have the wrong animations. Does the actual character have the wrong animations? Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see. It looks like the regular Silver has the correct animation. So if you play as Silver, he has the right animation. So it's kind of like semi true. But if you look right here, yeah, this these are two separate animations right here. He's doing Rouge the Bats animation. We have a side by side comparison right here. And it looks like that myth is true. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Yeah, the race suit Silver in the hub world has the wrong animations. All right, that's the myth. Myth is confirmed. Here's the next myth. Jet the Hawk is not the only character that spawns in the no place drag race. All right, everybody queue up the no place race. Here we go. Let's go into the racing menu, drag race. I love how much faster it is now. All right, go into drag race. Here we go. All right, a challenger has appeared. And who is the challenger? It is Jet the Hawk. All right, let's do it again and see if he appears again. All right, I've queued no place again. I'm back in here and I'm just waiting. A challenger has appeared and look at that. It's Jet the Hawk again. Since when is Jet the Hawk in Sonic Prime? Maybe he should have been in Sonic. Maybe there should have been more characters in Prime. Let's try one more time and see. All right, back in no place again. And again, Jet the Hawk has spawned, guys. It looks like this myth that Jet the Hawk is not the only character in No Place Drag Race is actually busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. The side objects in the Hilltop Drag Race have collision. All right, let's go test this out. Everyone queue up for Hilltop. This guy says, I am your fawn. Fan? I don't know. Sonic Cup, what should I buy my 2100 race tickets? Buy the new skins, bro. What do you mean? All right, everyone queue up Hilltop Drag Race, though. Ah, uh, Hilltop Drag Race. The first one to be introduced into the game. So apparently people are saying that these side objects right here, like the fences and the trees and stuff like that, don't have collision. So we have to put it to the test. All right, everyone just took off without me. Thanks, guys. All right, here we go. Um, Oh, we're literally just clipping right... Oh, we're clipping through everything. Oh, there's there's no collision. Look at this. You can just run through the trees. This guy, Classic Sonic, is like... He's like invincible or something. Oh, wow. Look at that. What? This has collision. Okay. Um, Yeah, but the side objects... I mean, you guys see it right here. The evidence is as clear as day. This myth is actually busted. The side objects do not have collision. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. If you get a triple race ticket power-up, it will actually count towards the Baton Rouge podium event in Sonic Speed Simulator. All right, here we go. I got triple race tickets. 1502. Let's see if it counts towards the Baton Rouge requirement. All right, here we go. I'm currently winning the race. Let's go. Let's go. All right, hit this. Hit that. Zoom through. And let's see. Let's see if the triple race tickets counts. I really hope it does. All right, 120 race tickets I just got because I had the triple race pass or race ticket thing. All right, let's see if it counts towards the podium event. And yes, it does. Triple race tickets. Will, so I got it for my daily login reward. I clicked claim and I was able to get triple race tickets. So that is actually a faster way to unlock Baton Rouge. That's pretty cool. And it looks like that myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You cannot choose your spawn location after racing. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and complete a race. Let's do a drag race just because it's quick. Um, we'll do we'll do Green Hill Drag Race to throw it back real quick, everyone. All right, here we are in the Green Hill Drag Race. Nostalgic OG SSS players will certainly remember this one. The first one to start it off. This racetrack used to be so mid, but you know, with the boosting mechanic, it is a little bit better. Look at these guys running. Let's see who's going to win big or Chaos Sonic. It looks kind of goofy. All right, anyways, let's get to it. So we're in a race, right? We're going to keep racing, keep racing, and we're going to complete it. I got to go a little bit faster, though. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm a little rusty, all right? But yeah, this is definitely a lot better than the original Green Hill racetrack. It was bad. It was everything wrong with SSS 1.0, but here we go. Boom, we beat the race, and we have officially spawned in Green Hill. But can you actually choose where you want to respawn? Well, if you go into the menu, go into your settings, and if you scroll all the way down here, race return destination. You can pick race world or Green Hill. So why don't we pick the race world and toggle it on real quick? Just to put it to the test, we'll do another drag race. All right, all right, fellas, we're in another race, and let's Let's see what I want to see if this actually works because that's actually a really cool feature. I think it'd be even cooler if you could pick like which world in general, but race world and Green Hill, I think it's all right. All right, we're zooming through. We're zooming through. We're gonna make it. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. And would you look at that? We have spawned back in the racing world. It looks like that myth has been busted. Here's the next myth your jumping speed and running speed and boosting speed has been reduced in the racing world. All right, this takes two seconds. This guy says, want to see a glitch? Uh, sure. Show me in a second, bro. All right, let's test out the speed real quick. And oh, yeah, we're a lot slower. This 
speed cap looks like it's way slower. Every Everything is slower. So it looks like that myth has been confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. In the racing world, you can glitch behind the scoreboard. All right, here we go. So this guy is going to show me. He says, apparently you can get behind here. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm following you. I'm following you. I'm following you. Okay, am I going to make it in there? I don't think I made it in. All right, let's try and go again. Let's go again. Okay, where are we going? Where, where did he just go? Um, oh, oh, oh. I don't think I don't think you can do it, bro. Is there a trick I gotta do? I don't know. I don't think I'm doing it correctly. I see myself in the winner circle. Actually, hold up. Let me right, auto joins off. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I just oh my god, my screen is bugging out, dude. Bro, my screen is actually bugging out. All right. Oh, I think I'm behind it. All right. Yeah, look at that. Guys, we're all in here. If you guys look, we're all behind the scoreboard. The wall is sealed. The other wall is sealed. But if you go inside of here, you'll see a bunch of Sonic glitch hunters over here. You know, I wonder if we can get out into here. Cause I mean, it seems like there's a little secret area over here. You look up top, there's a little roof. I'm I'm sure there's a way to get up here. I just don't know how to do it yet, but it looks like that myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. If you manually quit out of a race, it will cancel your auto join. All right, here we go. So I've turned on my auto joins and we're going to pick whatever race. It doesn't really matter. Good news is this one's going to be quick to test. So we're going to go up here and press quit. All right, we have quit the race. And what happens? Let's check the race. Yep, auto join is officially off. No more accidentally getting thrusted into races while you're recording YouTube videos. All right, maybe that's just a me problem. But the myth is confirmed. Here's the next myth. NPCs do not spawn in every single race. All right, so if you guys have been paying attention to this video, you'll notice that pretty much every single race we've got an NPC. Why don't we check out Green Hill Drag Race, for example? All right, here we are. We are in the Green Hill Drag Race. And here it is. Where? Who is that? Oh, there it is. It's Chaos Sonic. Let's try another one. All right, we're in beautiful, sunny Emerald Coast. And oh, there he is again. Chaos Sonic. I see this guy everywhere in my nightmares. All right, I've made it to Stardust Speedway. I'm just sitting here waiting. Waiting. You see my guy checking his watch to see what time it is. And who is that again? Oh, it is Chaos Sonic again. Even at Stardust Speedway? I think this is the only guy we can race against in this game. That's like an alternate myth. But it looks like that myth that NPCs do not spawn in every race is busted. That used to be the case, but now, as far as this update goes, it is no longer true. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? As you can see, I have officially escaped Cyber Station. Goodbye. Are you wondering how I got here? We're going to bust some myths in the brand new Sonic Speed Simulator update. So make sure to subscribe to the channel with all notifications. I'll give you a second. And let's get into it. Myth number one, Pixel Sonic and Pixel Tails will appear outside of Cyber Station. All right, well, this shouldn't be too difficult to prove or disprove. We have Pixel Sonic right here. He's a legendary skin. Let's go ahead and equip him. And what happens? Oh, so he can be equipped outside, but not the actual Pixel Sonic. So... He has this weird little trail or something like that. So, I mean, it's kind of like half true, half not true. I don't I don't know, whatever, however you guys want to decide. Swap over to Pixel Tails, and yeah, it seems to be the same thing. So, they can't actually go Pixel Mode outside of Cyber Station. It looks like they're just a normal Classic Sonic and Classic Tails, which I guess is good for some people that don't have the skin. So, it looks like that myth is busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Super Sonic now has a brand new animation when enemies attack him. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Super Sonic. Sonic. Everyone knows if Badniks touch him, he is basically invincible in, in some instances. But so here we go. We got some Badniks right here. And let's go ahead and boom. Yay, look at that. He has a brand new animation for when he goes to Badniks. It looks like he's like grinding or something. Hold on, let's see what we got. Yeah, he does like a little hoverboard animation. So for some reason, they added a new animation for Super Sonic. Let's see what happens if we like run through him. Boom, boom. Yeah, he like grinds on them. But yeah, Super Sonic does have a brand new animation when he hits Badniks. That myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth from my stream chat. If you are Classic Sonic in Cyber Station, he will have a special effect. So if we're in Green Hill, these two skins have a special effect. So I would imagine, you know, after all the attention to detail the devs have been paying lately, I would imagine that these two guys right here might have a special effect in cyberspace. Let's go test it out. All right, so we're in Cyber Station and you see regular Classic Sonic. Uh, I don't think he has any special effects or any... Wow, I'm, I'm actually surprised because, I mean, they have the effect in Green Hill. So this guy is just like straight up normal. I mean, I guess we could try Classic Tails. I'm shocked. I, I gotta say, I'm actually really shocked. I thought they were gonna do something cool, right? Something something interesting, but let's see. Where's Classic Tail? Oh, I don't have him on the test servers, but yeah, I mean, it's the same exact thing. It's over. So that myth is busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. If you change into your Roblox character, he will take on a different form. So 
if you guys didn't know, you could uh, play as Roblox characters in this game. I don't think I've ever played as a Roblox character ever in this game, especially for a video. This is Sada Cub over here saying Roblox Hub. But let's put this to the test. So if you guys look right here, this is what my character looks like on Roblox. He's pretty drippy. He's got a little, a little shirt right here. So this is his build right here. But if you change to your character, he turns into a blocky boy. Look at that. So he has a completely different model. Now let's see, just, just to be sure, let's go into Green Hill and make sure it's the same. We got a bunch of people right here. Everyone wait a second. I'll be right back. All right, we're back in Green Hill. And wow, look at that. I don't know if you guys caught it last second, but he changed back to his normal self. Again, I don't play as Roblox characters in Sonic Speed Simulator because it's a Sonic game, right? So with that being said, that myth is actually true. Who would have guessed? Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. All characters move slower in cyber station all right are you guys ready all right guys let's race follow me this guy says he's new and a fan nice thank you all right here we go guys so we're gonna just check the speedometer real quick let's see if you guys can keep up all right so our eyes are on the speedometer right now we are boosting in a straight line so it's pretty easy to tell oh, i just faked all you guys out um yeah so our top speed is about 160 let's grab some rings over here real quick just to double check and confirm um all right let's boost let's boost and yeah, it looks like the top speed you can hit is, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Yeah, like 170 looks to be our top speed. Why don't we go back to Green Hill to check out and see if that's uh, still the case. All right, here we go. We're out in the main world and oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. I, I guess I kind of noticed that something was off in Cyber Station, but yeah, look at the top speed now. Now I'm hitting like 350 miles an hour. My boy is out. So wow, that's, I, yo, I, I'm learning something new every day. So it looks like the myth that the characters are actually slower in Cyber Station is actually confirmed here's the next myth you can glitch out of cyber station are you all ready to escape cyber station this guy says no i like it here guys says sonic hub i am a sub all right everybody follow me all right everyone follow me here we go boys so look we got to go up here and then we're gonna go right where where is it oh we're gonna go right down here oh 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 oh, oh. i just fell down oh no i hope they followed me okay this guy made it this guy was able to make it over here the broken nuzlocker i guess he plays pokemon or something all right we made it to the bottom of cyber station as you guys can see i think some people missed out i just took off this guy says well this isn't that cyber anymore that's so funny dude you're actually hilarious all right uh let's go this way guys come over here we gotta hop on a hoverboard everyone all right come on we gotta find our way out of here all right how do i how do i get out how, oh, oh there we go there we go i made it out everyone i made it out there we go these guys made it out too let's see if these guys are all stuck let's see if they can make it out come on guys let's go are you guys gonna oh this guy's coming this guy made it let's go he did it all right all that's left to do is to hop on our tornadoes everyone come over here everyone follow me hop on your tornado we got some stragglers some people survived not everyone made the journey. All right, everyone, hop on your tornadoes. Let's do it. Let's take off. I hope you guys have tornadoes. You guys might not have them. They might not have them. Let's see. Oh, oh, they made it. Let's go. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. There he is. Oh, wait, where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, we made it out, boys. Let's fly up real quick. Let's see what we got. Go up. This guy says he doesn't have one. Oh, he's done. Looks like we made it out of cyberspace. Cyber station. I keep calling it cyberspace. This guy was the only straggler to make it out here with me. He was the only one that was diligent enough to pay attention. And let's see what we can do. Can we... Oh, 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 no. I'm gonna fall. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Hello? No? 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 Go back. Go back. Go back. Where am I? Oh, I'm back here again. Oh, nice. There's a little floor under here. It looks like that myth has been confirmed. You can actually escape out of Cyber Station. Let's move on to the next myth. Here's the next myth. You cannot die if you fall out of Cyber Station. All right, let's give this a shot. I mean, this is going to be the most simple way. I, I lost everyone. Everyone's a straggler right now. All right, so we're going to jump out of Cyber Station. Ready, go. And let's see what happens. We are falling. Look at my Pixel Boy go. Look at Pixel Boy go. Wait, hold up. Goodbye. All right. Oh, my God. Look how far. Look how fast. He's fall. Oh my, I don't, I think, oh, there he is. I see him. I see you. I see you, bro, but he's still going. Wait, what? Yo, my boy is still, yo, this, does this, does this ever end? Yo, wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me let this rock for like five minutes and we're going to see, and we're going to see what happens because I think you actually might not be able to die if you fall out of cyberspace. Two hours later. Oh, I actually fell out. I finally, yo, after like a couple minutes, finally died. It took me, took me probably like a minute and a half, but it looks like that myth is actually busted. I, I, I genuinely thought that there was no way to die if you did that because I did it earlier and I, I was falling forever, but that myth is actually busted and probably not that surprising, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Bad Nicks will actually attack you in Cyber Station. All right, this won't be too hard to test out. Uh, where's everyone at? I'm just, I'm just gonna go. Um, let's see. Let's test it out and let's go over here and yo, they added some type of detection or something that allows the bad 
Phoenix to actually chase you. Look, we stand right here and oh, he just, yeah, look at these guys. These guys move now. Myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Supersonic can now AFK farm Badnix. All right, everybody, he's back. The invincible golden boy. How many Supersonics does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is none because he is the light bulb. Let's go. All right, that joke was, uh, yeah. I, 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 listen, I'm trying, all right? I'm trying to be funny here, okay? So we are parking Supersonic right here. And if you look, the Badnix, now that they actually attack you, oh, there they go. There they go. Boom, they're gonna attack you. So assuming that these count for quests, you can now actually AFK farm Badnix. Not that it's ever that hard. There is now an official way to do it. So if we ever get a quest, kill 500 Badnix, listen, we're literally just gonna park Supersonic right there and just let these guys take him out. So it looks like that myth is actually confirmed. This could be potentially game-breaking news. Here's the next myth. You can AFK farm the crab badniks with Supersonic. Yeah, since I'm a genius and discovered this brand new insane method to farm badniks, we should try it out with the crab badniks. I mean, this also goes for every character, but clearly Supersonic's got an edge with his invincibility. Let's go over here to this pit of crabs over here. We are parking our thing, and what happens? Oh, we're getting... Sh oh, we're getting... Okay, so these ones will just shoot you. Wow, that's actually really interesting. So these guys only shoot, and it looks like I can't do any afk damage wow supersonic is just sitting there getting shot forever it's almost like a permanent stalemate who will be the last one standing i guess my afk timer will be the last one standing but that myth that supersonic and afk farm the crabs is actually busted you can do it with one set of bad nicks but you can't do it with this set i mean you could run into them look at that we could just run right into these guys but if you pause they'll just sit there and shoot at you that's actually really interesting supersonic's got some uh he's got some cool properties here's the next myth all tornadoes shoot the same exact color bullets all right, here we go. So we are in... I mean, this isn't really a cyber station myth, but it's still pretty cool. All right, here we go. So let's shoot. Look at that. So if we look at the colored bullets, what color are they? Let's get a nice little zoom on them. They're like yellow, orange. I'm, I'm like colorblind. Jack, can you guys tell me which color those are? I have no idea. So now the next thing we're going to do naturally is go right here and we're going to use the holiday tornado. Let's see if they're any different. Oh, whoa. The holiday tornado has red bullets. Wow, those are different. Okay, let's check out. Let's check out. Um, Let's check out the new valentine's tornado okay and what do we got oh these are pink bullets look we're zooming in real quick wait hold on can i can i zoom in real quick yeah those are pink bullets and by the way chat that's actually a new feature i'm not gonna lie they changed that like a week ago because you know maybe i made a suggestion or two just to, you know that's what i do maybe maybe i made a suggestion for that to be an easter egg into the game but it looks like the myth that all tornado bullets have the same exact color is actually busted let's move on to the next one here's the next myth the bad nicks and cyber station are invincible to the tornado all right let's see we're gonna pop up our tornado which one should we use i guess we'll use the valentine's tornado okay so we're in our tornado and they're not even locking onto these guys wait is this this could be a glitch i feel like this is definitely subject to change so not not only are the bullets not locking on they don't even the strays don't hit these guys so they really wanted to remove the meta for tornadoes i, I guess it kind of makes sense i'm sure there'll be a quest in the future to unlock different skins but maybe uh there's gonna be a bad nick requirement or something like that because i can't think of any other reason why these bad nicks would not be targetable by the tornado i'm actually pretty shocked because i didn't think that was gonna be true but it looks like that myth that the badniks are invincible to the tornado bullets is actually confirmed. Here's the next myth. Supersonic is the only character that can clip under this obstacle right here. So if you played Sonic Superstars and you played the actual Cyber Station world, you would know that you would know these little obstacles right here are straight from Cyber Station. These things were so annoying when I played the original game. And now the same obstacle has made its way into Sonic Speed Simulator. So what happens when you touch it? Boom. Yeah, they're so annoying. It's fitting that it's actually like really annoying in SSS as well because it's also annoying in uh, Sonic Speed Simulator. So let's see if we can try and and go around this yeah let's see if we can clip through can we clip through this thing it doesn't can we clip through this thing let's see let's try and go in here i i mean there's probably a way right i mean there's there's gotta be some some exploiter some glitcher will definitely find it. oh my god it keeps hitting me off can we try a hoverboard maybe let's see if that does something oh nope that takes us right off yeah it doesn't look like we can get through this but if you play as supersonic there is something pretty cool that you can do you can swap to him and now you will be literally invincible look at this invincible but if you spin dash you can clip right through it and now we're flying. Wait, now Supersonic is actually flying. Oh, no, okay. That's a good camera angle right there. Now Supersonic is actually flying. But yes, it looks like, I mean, if anyone else can find a way to do it, I'm sure someone will figure it out. That myth is confirmed. Supersonic is the only character that can clip through that little obstacle right there because 
He's invincible. Here's the next myth. There's a brand new quality of life feature to access the menus on your controller. All right, so for those of you who didn't know, they added QL features a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago to access your tornado, but also access your hoverboard on the controller. Something that's very useful for controller players. Also, don't mind my fit. I'm a little sick right now, so I'm kind of just squeezing this last one in, all right? Now, if you press up on the D-pad right here, wait, where is it? Boom. Up on the D-pad, you can now access the menus and you can swap through with the bumper buttons to now access the menu quicker. Looks like that myth is actually confirmed. Here's the first myth. The tornado will get hit by the bad nicks. All right, what is up, everybody? I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes and we still got some people waiting here. All right, first thing we're gonna do, this guy says he's a big fan. Thanks, dude. All right, here we go. We're gonna get on our tornado real quick and let's let's see what happens. If we run into these guys, what happens? Boom, oh, oh, okay, I, wait, wait, what happens? Okay, we're going in, let's, let's try this again. Can we, do we just go right through them? Interesting. So previously in, in other updates, if you hit the bad nicks with your tornado, you would actually get knocked back by them. Let's see if we can get shot. Let's see if they'll shoot. And they shoot the tornado and they shoot it. Can we run into it? Oh, wait, I think I just bounced off of one of them. Here, let's try this again. Let's try again. Oh, no, we just we just go right through them. Wait, just for good measure, let's find one of the bats. You know what I'm saying? We'll hit one of the bats. And you can now shoot the bad nicks, by the way. Oh, 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 wow. Wait, he's actually hitting my tornado. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, no. Okay, wait, never mind. Wow. That's surprising. So some of them, you can't actually go through. You actually get hit by the tornado. Typically, the bad nicks will knock you off, but that's that's pretty crazy. So it looks like that myth is confirmed. Here's the next myth. You can boost and close the glitches in Cyber Station. So the Cyber Station event brought us something very unique and interesting to the game. We have these nodes where all you have to do is run up to them and close them out. This is, I think, the first time something like this has happened in SSS. Typically, you have to run up to them and you have to hold it and collect it and boom, you will get the node. So if you you run into it what happens let's give it a shot ready boom oh you can actually get them while moving like on the run look at that ready ready boom got it nice nice that's pretty cool actually so it looks like the myth that you can boost and grab the nodes at the same time is actually confirmed let's go ahead and move on to the next one here's the next myth while spin dashing you can also close out the glitches same concept as before so earlier we were able to boost and grab them at the same time which should be a very fast way to do it like that boom you can do it so, ready, boom, yeah, you see, you can do it. So, let's see what happens when we're spin dashing. Can we, oh, I missed, okay, let me try that again. There we go, let's try it again. We are spin dashing, and boom, oh, wow, you can actually do it while spin dashing. That looks like the myth is confirmed. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here's the next myth, while jumping, you can also close out the glitches. All right, so this should be pretty easy to test out. So, here we go, so we are boosting, and all right, so we're gonna jump, right? We're gonna jump and close it out, oh, nice. So we're able to close it out while running, we're able to close it out while jumping, and we're able to close it out while boosting. Wow. But the myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. The tornado is not invincible to the lasers in Cyber Station. So the lasers in Cyber Station, y'all remember these from Mythbuster Episode 1. These are also featured in Sonic Superstars as well. A very nice attention to detail. Last time we informed you guys that Super Sonic is in fact invincible, but other characters are not. So what happens if we fly into it with our tornado? Well, let's put it to the test. All right, y'all. Oh, this person says Sonic Cup. I love your videos hey thanks bud this guy says myths yes this guy says i am a big fan until 2024 so wait does that mean it's 2024 you're not a big fan anymore <laughs> all right everyone tornado up and follow me let's see if anyone's actually gonna oh this guy this guy's quick with it all right so here we go we're gonna try to get on to the lasers over here and see let's see what happens if we hit them ready boom oh oh the tornado here we go let's try again and I think the tornado is actually invincible to the lasers. So characters are not invincible to the lasers. Super Sonic's invincible to the lasers, but also tornadoes are invincible to the lasers. Who would have expected that? What is the purpose of this? I think we need answers. This guy says, wow, this is more cybery than this. What are you talking about? What's this guy saying? I think he was in the last video. Were you in the last video? I don't know. But it looks like the myth is busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You can still clip under the lasers in Cyber Station. All right, follow me, y'all. Here we go. Let's see if you all can keep up. I'm being Knuckles right now. He's, he's all so, you know, he's he's part of the gang, by the way. Only classic Knuckles, though. Don't don't be doing nothing crazy. All right, so we got everyone follow me. Look at look at everyone go. Oh, let's go, guys. If you guys watch Mythbuster episode one, I made a little bit of a mistake. Can we clip through this thing? Let's see. Let's try and go in here. It takes us right off. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get through this. But if you spin dash, you can clip right through it. And now we're flying. Wait, now Super Sonic is actually flying. Oh, no, okay. That's a good camera angle right there. Now Super Sonic is actually flying. But yes, it looks like, I mean, if anyone else can find a way to do it, I'm sure someone will figure it out. That myth is confirmed. Super Sonic is the only character that can clip through that little obstacle right there because 
He's invincible. So as you can tell, there was a glitch to get through the little things over here. So we're going to go to the lasers. Oh, I just like totally left everyone hanging. You were able to actually clip through these lasers. So initially you are not able to do it, right? But if you spam the spin dash, then you're able to get through. Now, can we get through this little gap right here? Look at Knuckles spin dashing, by the way. Here we go. Can we get through this gap? Well, let's give it a shot. Boom. And it looks like it's been patched. Guys, we can't get through anymore. I'm sure. I'm sure one of you glitch hunters will be able to find it, but it looks like the myth that you can still clip under the the lasers is actually busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. The original method to get out of Cyber Station no longer exists. Again, this is a nice little throwback to Mythbuster episode one for Cyber Station. Have them. They might not have them. Let's see. Oh, oh, they made it. Where's he going? Okay, we made it out, boys. Let's fly up real quick. Let's see what we got. Go up. This guy says he doesn't have one. Oh, he's done. Looks like we made it out of cyberspace. Cyber Station. I keep calling it cyberspace. So can you do it again? Well, let's put it to the test. Let's uh, meet up with the viewers at spawn. All right, here we go. We're at spawn. We got everyone here. All right, follow me, y'all. Here we go. This guy says, I'm glitchy. What is this guy saying? This guy says Sonic HUD. Okay, here we go. So everyone, follow me. We're going to go up here. Let's see if you guys can make it up here. We're going to jump, jump, and jump. Initially, you were able to just get out through right here. But, oh, okay, we're down here. Oh, everyone's everyone's dead. I think I just killed... Oh, I see another one. He's dead. Goodbye. Oh, they're all done killing everyone. I literally just killed everyone. They have no idea. But we have like a nice little pocket over here. We have somewhere kind of to hang out. So um, if we go down it's a void okay so we're dead so i think there is still a way to glitch out clearly it's been patched okay so the myth has been confirmed they patched the way to get out of here but is there still a way to escape this map we're gonna have to find that we're still gonna have to find that out so here we go we're gonna jump down and boom oh no nope. this used to work man there used to be a platform yo why do the devs remove the fun stuff why, why remove the stuff that's fun right, here we go we're gonna try this boom oh i don't I, guys i don't think we can get out of here i'm sure someone can find a way out of this map i don't think there's a single map in this game that people haven't found a way to glitch out of but at the current moment i don't think let me see can i go over here what happens if i go here can i get back onto my nah man listen the glitch to get out of cyber station has been patched so it's over guys the fun has been canceled if you guys find a new way to do it please tag me in a video maybe we'll react to it and we'll use it for another episode but let's move on to the next one here's the next myth the pixel characters have a different color shade than their normal counterparts in green hill all right so we're in green hill so yeah the pixel characters as you guys know they don't actually stay pixelated in green hill which is huge miss opportunity so lame all right so here we go so we have classic sonic right here someone please be classic sonic i hope you guys have it no not that one not the fake one not the imposter come over here all right come here bro all right unequip your pets and stand right next to me please and your trail buddy all right here we go so as you can see there's a slightly lighter tint i don't know if it's just to the skin or the fur oh yo, get out of the way all right so yeah i don't think it's uh yeah right here boom yeah they look they have a slightly different shade i would assume it's the same for the other characters i don't really know i knew about this when the update first dropped but i want to space out a little bit because i knew we were doing an episode too but it looks like the myth that the pixelated characters have a different shade or a different color is actually confirmed let's move on to the next one here's the next myth racing against chaos sonic will not count towards racing against metal sonic as as an objective for your adventures you guys know when you do a race in sonic speed simulator sometimes one of the objectives will be to race against chaos sonic who's like a metal robotic version of sonic but he's not metal sonic right he's not the actual metal sonic so you have a quest and the objective is to race and defeat metal sonic does chaos sonic count towards this objective well let's put it to the test all right let's see real quick so we have an adventure we have an adventure right here we have to beat metal sonic in a race but we have chaos sonic over here this isn't metal sonic but he is a metal sonic Listen, he's not Metal Sonic, but he is a Metal Sonic. So let's go ahead and beat him in a race. I want to see if this is going to beat the adventure for me. Let's 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 give it a sh Oh my god. Oh my god. And I think the only place where the original Metal Sonic spawns is Stardust Speedway. And, you know, rightfully so. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. And boom. All right, let's take a look at our adventures. And boom, we completed our adventure. So yes, beating Chaos Sonic counts as beating Metal Sonic. Interesting. It looks like that myth has been busted. Here's the next myth. Character speeds have been increased in Cyber Station. Oh, let's refer back to episode one. So it's been confirmed that our speed has been nerfed in Cyber Station. Let's roll the clip of what our top speed is. Um, Yeah, so our top speed is about 160. Let's grab some rings over here real quick just to double check and confirm. Um, All right, let's boost, let's boost. And yeah, it looks like the top speed you can hit is... Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Yeah, like 170 looks to be our top speed. As you can see from episode one, clearly you're slower in Cyber Station. There's no doubt about that. But has our top speed been increased? Let's put it to the test. All right, here we go. So I'm switching to Classic Sonic and let's boost. 
Let's boost, let's boost, let's boost. And what do we got? Um, yeah, I'm hitting a top speed of... What am I hitting? I'm hitting 200. Yeah, I mean, I the, the previous top speed was around 170. So looks like that myth that the speed has been increased is actually confirmed. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. All characters have the same speed in Cyber Station. All right, nice and easy. Let's check the speedometer. I actually did not have that on camera for the last shot. I'm not, I'm not fixing it either. I'm, I, as I'm recording this, I'm not fixing it. All right, you guys see it now. So let's see what we got. Uh, we're hitting about 190. All right, so for good measure, we'll, we'll swap to... Okay, this is an exotic skin. Maybe, you know, there's something something special about these guys. Uh, no, he's he's still regular, same speed as the other classic Sonics. So let's see what we do if we swap to regular Tails. Let's see if he's any any faster than maybe the Pixel characters, right? Um, looks, like, looks like, yeah, I mean, it looks like he has a similar top speed or something like that. Um, yeah, the top speed seems to be capped. So... There's one character in particular that I think we can point to who may be faster than all the others in Cyber Station with the speed nerfs. I don't know who it is. It's the blue golden god. It's Super Sonic himself. Let's put it to the test and let's see how fast he goes. Okay, so, I mean, first of all, he can fly. Well, let's see what happens when we're, when we're you know, sitting down. Oh, yeah, he's hitting a top speed of, like, 370. Yeah, he's clearly faster than all the other characters. So, I mean, it's a good detail that he's faster than the other characters. He's a little bit more powerful. This skin, it needs to have its significance. But it looks like the myth that all characters have the same speed in cyber station is actually busted neo metal sonic has arrived to sonic speed simulator the precursor to the metal overlord himself has arrived to the game so naturally the viewers and myself right here are going to bust neo metal sonic myths subscribe to the channel with all notifications and let's get into it starting with myth number one there is a brand new golden sonic statue in the new sonic speed simulator update golden sonic statues have been a fixture in the sonic speed simulator community ever since they first debuted back in summer of 2022 what do these mysterious statues mean Mean? Well, the best we were able to come up with as a confirmed hint was that the writing on the statues were from Sonic Forces. We were never quite able to decipher what exactly they meant. So if you know, let me know down below in the comments. But is there a secret golden statue in the brand new Diamond Terminal update? Well, let's take a look. All right, everybody, follow me to Diamond Terminal. We are all Neo Metal Sonics. I gotta say, man, I love classic Sonic. He's he's the GOAT, obviously, but this skin is tough, man. This skin is real tough. Everyone says, okay, let's go, guys. Come on, everyone. Let's go into the, to the hunt. All right, so we are in now. Now, we have to find the golden Sonic statue, and it's very simple, actually, to find it. If you look right under this thing, go directly under, and boom! We have found a secret underground lair, which contains none other than a golden Sonic statue. This thing has been a persistent mystery ever since we discovered it all those years ago. To this day, we still don't know what it means, but the myth that there is a secret golden Sonic statue is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You cannot reach the brand new golden Sonic statue in Sonic Speed Simulator. So here's the thing, everyone. This is completely completely underground and there's really no way to reach it because it's enclosed the only path that i see here does not have an exit and it does not have an entrance so can we make it to the statue well let's put it to the test all right everyone follow me up on our hoverboards or something just so you guys can keep up with the go let's see if these guys can keep up we're gonna try to find this golden sonic statue these guys are gonna have their minds blown i don't think anyone's found this yet all right guys here we go come on everyone let's go can you guys keep, uh, these guys are keeping up all right cool guys well listen i found a very interesting looking wall it looked a little bit conspicuous us when I was down here. It almost matched exactly where we were supposed to go. So here we go, guys. Let's jump through and oh, guys, we all made it in. Everyone made it inside. So it looks like the myth that you couldn't reach the Golden Sonic statue has been busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. In Diamond Terminal, on top of the water, you can float with the Extreme Gear. If you guys remember the No Place Mythbuster episode, we actually discovered that Extreme Gear floats on water. So let's see if the same principle still applies in Diamond Terminal, which is the brand new zone. All right, jump on the water, y'all. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can go in and whoa oh it actually dismounts you wait that's actually crazy this literally dismounts you so it looks like the myth that extreme gear floats on water in diamond terminal is actually busted let's move on to the next one here's the next myth the marvelous queen works underwater in diamond terminal for those of you who remember the last mythbuster episode you know that fang's mount you can actually use underwater in no place so does it work in diamond terminal well let's put it to the test all right guys let's go underwater here we go we're all going is everyone coming everyone's jumping down all right cool all right so we all made it here now now what? Well, let's see if this flying mount works. We're going to go into our mounts. We are going to scroll down to the Marvelous Queen, and we cannot equip it underwater, bro. What? No, nah, that's crazy. Why does it work in no place, but it doesn't work here? So the myth that you can mount up with Fang's mount underwater in Diamond Terminal is busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. You can use hoverboards underwater in Diamond Terminal. Another throwback to the No Place Mythbuster Episode 1. One of the cool things that you were able to do was actually equip hoverboards underwater, but only some. In particular, one of the ones that 
that worked was the magic carpet. Since it worked in no place, let's see if it worked in here. You could actually use a hoverboard underwater. All right, let's try this one. Oh, and I just got launched off. Okay, so it looks like it's busted, right? Well, let's see. All right, let's go into our magic carpet and hey, the magic carpet works underwater. So it looks like they kept that in, which is pretty cool. Looks like that myth has been confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Using the magic carpet, you can swap the hoverboards that you cannot actually use underwater. Listen, man, we don't even have to move right here. So look, that hoverboard we used before, it was the vampire bite hoverboard. Um, Yeah, we were able to switch to it. So we weren't actually able to use this one previously. Like, look, if we try to mount up real quick, look what happens. Vampire bite hoverboard. Yeah, he falls off of it. But if you hop on your magic carpet and then you swap over, you can now use any single hoverboard that you want underwater. How easy was that? It looks like that myth has been confirmed. Here's the next myth. There's an infinite speed glitch when you use a hoverboard in Diamond Terminal. This is a throwback all the way to Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0 Diamond Terminal. There was a spot in the map where you can infinitely grind, and if you boosted on your hoverboard on the grind rail, you would get infinite speed. It would never run out. So this is back, so let's go test it out. All right, so we gotta go to the top. Everyone, follow me. I don't even know where this spot is. It's been a little bit. We have to run through here. This place was always so confusing to me. Oh, wait, I think I know where it is. It's right on top of the map right here. I think this used to work with the hoverboards because in the original SSS, there was no boosting, right? So now the only way you could boost in the original SSS, I think was the hoverboard, if I'm not mistaken. Now let's see what happens. We've already beaten the 655 speed cap. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. Yep, we're at 750 and then this game start, it's starting to get a little crazy right now. I'm getting, guys, I'm getting a little dizzy right now. I'm sorry. Yep, we're at 830, 913, 995. As you can tell, the infinite speed glitch from Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0 with the hoverboards is back. Look at all these guys going around in circles. I'm getting literally dizzy just watching these guys do this. Sorry about that, guys. But the myth has been confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. There's an infinite speed glitch when you're on foot in Diamond Terminal. So yes, guys, this right here, back in the day when we had to do our daily challenges and stuff like that, we were able to sit here on this grind rail and get all the points that we need. Now, if you were boosting on a hoverboard, you were able to get unlimited speed. If you look at the speedometer right above my head, look what it's doing when we boost. And we're at 600 miles an hour. Is there a cap, though? I wonder if there's a cap. Let's keep going. Boom. Boom. All right, we're above 655. I think this was the previous limit. Yeah, it looks like there is a limit. So there is no infinite speed when you're on foot. That myth has been busted. Here's the next myth. You can still see Green Reef from Diamond Terminal. So for those of you who remember Green Reef, this was the original Big the Cat World in Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0. It was released in a similar time period that Diamond Terminal was. I think they were like a month or two apart. Certainly a nostalgic zone, but also a very frustrating zone. So is it in Diamond Terminal? Can we see it still? Let's take a look. If you go into this area with a free cam and you go right through it, what do we we see right here we see like a little bridge area which looks extremely similar to green reef this looks almost like the top of green reef as a matter of fact if you leave diamond terminal we probably get our best look at green reef right here and what do we see we see green reef's backdrop over here we see the top area also with the bridges that green reef have but most importantly i think the thing that's a dead giveaway is the picture of the chaos orbs right here so this to me appears to be a picture of green reef so it looks like diamond terminal is actually located in green reef potentially to me it looks like that myth is most likely 100 percent confirmed Confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Neo Metal Sonic is as fast as Supersonic. All right, first thing we're going to do, everybody. Here we go. This guy says, yo, Mythbusters. These guys already know. Myths, myths. Everyone knows that it's Mythbusters. Okay, that's cool. All right, so here we go. Let's pull our trusty speedometer out right here. So Neo Metal Sonic, as you all know, is the second skin to have the super designation. What exactly does it mean for him to be super when he's not super Neo Metal Sonic? I don't know. But let's see if he's faster than Supersonic because they can both fly. So here we go, guys. So he is flying, right? We are currently hitting a top speed of of 374. Okay, that's about his top speed when he's flying. Now we will switch over to Supersonic and see how fast he is. Supersonic versus Neo Metal Sonic. Obviously, Supersonic wins. This guy says, hi, big fan. Thanks, bud. All right, here we go. Let's see how fast this guy is. Let's jump up and go. And oh my God, he is way faster. My boy is 523 miles per hour. So yeah, it looks like the myth that they are the same speed is actually busted. Look at everyone flying around in circles, bro. This is actually kind of funny. This, this looks kind of interesting. They look, they look like flies from all the way out here. But all right, guys, that myth has been busted. They're actually not the same speed despite having the same skin designation. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Neo Metal Sonic can boost longer than the regular characters. So for those of you who watched the episode of Super Sonic Myth Busting, you would know that he actually is one third of a slower boosting drain rate. So is it the same for Neo Metal Sonic? Well, let's test it out. All right, guys, my Neo Metal Sonic is literally level one. He has no boost, no benefits, no power-ups, no anything. So let's see if he can boost longer than the regular characters like Super Sonic can. So here we go, guys. Ready? I'm going to set it. I'm going to set a timer on my phone. Two, one, and go. Timer is on. I have my hand on the trigger. 
right now. Let's see how long he can boost for. He's he's doing pretty good. I will say he's doing pretty good. Still boosting, still boosting, and boom. We got about 10, maybe 11 seconds of boosting. Let's see if it's noticeably different for the other characters. We'll swap to a level one Frontier Sonic. He has no special properties either. He's also level one. So here we go. We're gonna go three, two, one, and go. Let's see what he's got. And oh my God, yeah. Oh, it wasn't even close. It was not even close. It was four seconds for the regular Sonic. So the myth that Neo Metal Sonic can boost longer than the regular characters is confirmed. Here's the next myth. Neo Metal Sonic is invincible to Eggman's lasers. So if you guys remember the Super Sonic Mythbuster episode, there is a little secret about the Eggman boss battle. That is that Super Sonic is invincible to his lasers. If you don't believe me, let's put it to the test. Like, there's his lasers right there. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to actually get hit by his lasers, to be honest. Come on, there we go. And yeah, look at that. So he's clearly invincible to his lasers. Look at that. He has like a little animation too. I think he got an updated animation as well. But does Neo Metal Sonic, who is also a super skin, have the same level of invincibility? This guy says Eggman is going to hell. Oh my God, what in the shadow of the hedgehog did you just say, bro? All right, let's try this out though. All right, let's see if this guy has the same level of invincibility that Super Sonic does. So I'm gonna try to get hit by this guy's lasers. I mean, it always used to happen to me. Come on, there's, there's the ice, there's the ice. Boom, oh, Neo Metal Sonic gets frozen? Dude, what? What kind of super skin is he? Man, that's crazy, bro. So the myth that Neo Metal Sonic cannot get frozen by Eggman's lasers is actually busted. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Neo Metal Sonic is invincible to the Moto Bugs. Since he's not invincible to the Eggman lasers, let's see if he's invincible to the Moto Bugs. And oh, he actually goes through them. So it's weird. He's not invincible to Eggman's lasers, but he can go through these guys with no problem. For context, if you run into them as a regular character, you actually get knocked back. So yeah, just to keep that in mind for you guys. I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? But it looks like the myth is confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. If you go into the Neo Metal Sonic boss fight as Neo Metal Sonic, he will turn into Super Neo Metal Sonic. All right. So this usually happens when you go into races and stuff like that. If you go into like a races Metal Sonic, he'll usually change his skin. But there's something I noticed during the Neo Metal Sonic boss fight, which made it look like he was going to go super. Also, he's a super skin, right? So it's kind of weird. Let's go in here as Neo Metal Sonic and see what happens. All right, here we go. And we actually fly in as Super Sonic and he's still Neo Metal Sonic. But if you look at that golden aura around him, that was definitely not there during the first boss fight. So what exactly are they planning with this guy? Are they going to give us a super Neo Metal Sonic boss fight? I mean, people were saying that. As of right now, the myth is busted. Here's the next myth. Super Sonic now has a brand new parry animation. If you guys remember the Super Sonic Mythbuster episode, he had a parry animation, but it was kind of incomplete. Apparently it's updated though. Let's see if it works for everything now. Let's go into like one of these moto bugs and see what happens. We're gonna try to go real slow. All right, let's go in, let's go in and boom. Oh yeah, look at that. He has a much cooler parry animation. It like looks very smooth. It looks like that myth is confirmed. We saved the best one for last. Here's the final myth. You cannot escape Diamond Terminal. All right guys, so here we go. So we're gonna hop on our hoverboard right here. We're gonna jump up onto this little area and oh, where do we go? We have just exited our mount. Are we underwater? No, we're not underwater, but guys, look. Since we're playing as supersonic, we have now officially escaped Diamond Terminal, and we can kind of see what it looks like on the outside. Though, I don't know how much longer we'll survive for, but we did make it out of Diamond Terminal. It looks like the myth that we can't do it is actually busted. Myth number one, you can make it to the secret area in Metal City. You guys can tell right here, there is a secret area that we can't get into. We are no strangers to this in Sonic Speed Simulator. It's pretty easy to tell, though, that there is definitely something back here, because if you look, oh, would you look at that? There is a brand new area in also there's some rings so clearly we're eventually going to get access to this area i would predict in a future update can we actually get back there well let's put it to the test all right so i just switched to supersonic i also don't know if this is possible i'm sure it is because you know all this stuff is possible so we're gonna see what happens and how we're gonna get up there i think the first thing we'll do is use our supersonic maybe go off a little half pipe oh i love getting air like that look at that okay we're gonna go up here right we're going to jump up. Wow, this is bringing me back to the old days of Sonic Speed Simulator. I mean, obviously, this was a 1.0 map. But most importantly, doing cool stuff like this and escaping the map was something that I definitely love doing. Here, there we go. There we go. Nice jump right there. Boom. All right, perfect. All right, now we're going to go over here. Can we get around? Oh, don't tell me it's that easy. Is it that easy? Wow. Oh, my God. We're in. Guys, we officially made it in. And we're going to do the first little half pipe trick in the new metal city here we go boom and let's land it but yeah guys it looks like the myth that you can make it into the secret area is actually true i wonder oh what the oh my god i just died let's move on to the next one big the cat is in the locked metal city skate park area all right well since i died i'm gonna have to uh go ahead and get back there just give me one second guys sorry about that two 
hours later. All right, we are back in, and here we go. Oh, 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 I'm locked out. No! Oh, come on, dude. Looks like we can go under here. This is pretty cool. We're kind of exploring. Okay, there's invisible. What's up with the invisible walls? All right, why is there so many here? Annoying as hell, dude. All right, anyways, let's get back in here. Oh my God, I'm blocked out, dude. This is nuts. We are going to have to reset. All right, there we go. We made it in and let's see what we got. There it is. I see him. It did not take long, but I have discovered Big the Cat. For some reason, he's fishing in the Metal City Skate Park area. This guy just loves showing up at the most random places possible. Also, we see Froggy over here. So the myth that Big the Cat is in the new Metal City Skate Park area is actually confirmed. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Rider Sonic cannot double jump without a hoverboard. Not necessarily a secret that these characters can double jump, as you can see right here, but these are all the Rider's characters, so it should be just on the hoverboards. Let's go ahead and swap over to our trusty rider sonic where is he where is he hello hello rider oh my god i have so many characters all right there he is rider sonic fun fact for those of you who are watching today when this game first came out about two years ago i mean wow i can't believe it's already been two years ago i was actually a rider sonic main basically until they released metal sonic into the game so this game kind of hits different for me you know what i'm saying very nostalgic look at young sonic hub over there if only he knew what his life would become after fun fact this was the first reskin to come into the game as well and he came in via code so Let's see if he can actually double jump here. But we want to see if this guy... Wait, what's this weird line in between him? I don't know. Do you guys see that? If you, like, zoom out a little bit? I don't know. All right, anyways, let's see if he can double jump without the hoverboard. What? No, wait. wait this actually is the best... Probably the best skin in the game. Gotta be one of the craziest, like, most broken skins in the game. Look at this, dude. He literally... Oh, my God. The way he can fly around is actually crazy, bro. Look at that, man. That's crazy, dude. But yeah, Rider Sonic has a double jump, man. The myth that he can't double jump without the hoverboard is actually mm. busted. Let's... Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. All of the Riders characters can double jump. So as you can see, Wave, who is another Riders character, can double jump. We know that Rider Sonic can also double jump as well. And Jet the Hawk. So does this mean the other Riders characters can double jump? Well, we have to put it to the test. We have Riders Tails right here, and it looks like he's just doing a trick. Okay, all right. Let's see if he double jumps when we go up. And nope, he just does a homing attack. So Riders Tails can't do it. Oh, I just clipped through the map all right no problem I, listen i like clipping through the map i think it's fun all right we got to swap to basically like a sonic equivalent let's just get straight to the point if this character can't double jump then no other riders character can double jump we have rider shadow right here he should be able to double jump right and nope rider shadow cannot double jump so it looks like he is mid sonic is better right? We got big Sonic X Shadow generations coming out later this year, so expect the Shadow Slander on this channel to pick up immensely, because listen, this guy's gotta be stopped. All jokes aside, let's try another character. Rider's Knuckles? Nope, he can't double jump either. Rider's Amy? I believe this is the introductory skin to the original Metal City. She also can't double jump, so I guess it really is just those three characters. Alright, one last one for good measure. Rider's Vector. Let's see if he can do it. And nope. So yeah, the myth that all Rider's characters can double jump is actually busted. Let's move on to the next one. One. Here's the next myth. Jet the Hawk reskins can double jump. Won't be hard to test out this one. The original Jet, as you guys see right here, can double jump. Look at that. Perfect. What about the other Jets? I mean, he's basically like a de facto rider skin. So let's see. Here we go. Race Suit Jet. We got him right here, boys. Race Suit Jet can double jump. Wow. He's not Rider's Jet, but he is Race Suit Jet. And I guess maybe it has something to do with the Rider's world. Look at that double jump, man. It's actually, this opens up a lot of cool platforming potential. I wonder if they can build some platforming challenges around it or something like that. But it looks like the myth that Jet the Hawk reskins can double jump is actually true. I, I was not expecting that. Here's the next myth. Winter Jet can double jump. All right, well, if this one worked, I mean, the other one has to work. Am I right? Two Jet the Hawk skins got it. So here we go. Winter Jet. Here he is. Oh, boy, is ready to go snowboarding. Or better yet, he's ready to go hoverboarding, riding. Okay. All right, anyways, so here we go. Let's try to do a jump. Oh. Let's try to do a jump, and wow, wait, he doesn't do it. He does not have a double jump. Look at that. Boom, he just does straight homing attack. Look, if you look, when we do the uh, hoverboard, he just does his trick, and if we do a jump, he just does a homing attack. So it looks like the myth that Winter Jet can double jump is actually busted. It's kind of crazy that one of the Jet the Hawk reskins can double jump, but not Winter Jet. Very cool, but let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. There are secret Chow out of bounds in every single world. So, all right, so I'm watching a YouTube video here by a Sonic Speed Simulator YouTuber, Chaotic Soda, and apparently he found out of bounds chow in sonic speed simulator so i want to test this out myself we're looking at it right here and what do we see what do we see how the hell does he even get it? who even finds this stuff okay 
Oh, where's he going? I don't have the patience to sit here and try to find them. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, so we found one. Let's see if they're still in the live game, all right? Lemon Lime Chow. You can buy it for 100 Robux. All right, let's go check it out. All right, we made it into the lobby, and what do I see right away? There's a fake Sonic Hub right there. What the hell, bro? I guess the best thing that we can do is go Super Sonic, right? So I think we got this waterfall area over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I just fell. I think I just fell out of the map. Hello. I think, hello, hello, hello. Hello? Oh my god, I gotta get on my- Alright, I gotta mount up. I gotta mount up right now. I gotta- Ah! Bro, did this guy just change into the skin that I was being? And he's- He's got my- Yo, he's got the fake na- Yo, bro. What the hell, bro? Alright, we're gonna go down here and see if we can, uh, make it out. Let's go. Oh, I think we- Oh, oh, I just clipped through. I just clipped through, but is my- Am I, am I gonna get to my inventory fast enough? I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Wait, let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, we're- No! Right, I think we just detached out of the map. There we go. I think we're out. Oh, what's down here? It looks like there's something cool down there, but I do not want to, you know, check it out. So we're going to go ahead and hop on our tornado. We got the chrome tornado, baby. Let's go. You know, we fast out here and stuff. You know, uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, why? Why? Why Why am I clipping through? Why am I? Hello? All right. You know what? Don't, it don't even matter. It doesn't matter. All right. We're going to we're going to fly over here because I have a good I have a good method right now. I got a good method. Can I fly into these? Nope. These have no collision. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. I see it. Boom, boom. All right, we made it, bro. Stressful, man. Real stressful. Let's see if it's still there. And yes, it's really, it's true. Chaotic Soda. Shout out to you, man. Everyone make sure to go subscribe to his channel. He just showed me. He just showed me that there's a lemon lime chow here and I could actually purchase it for Robux. Should I buy it? I mean, I would, but this thing sucks. But it is kind of like a... It's on sale for 86 days, so I think we'll be okay. If you want to check out the rest of his video, he'll show you the location to where every single map is. But what I want to do, I want to know if we could find it in Metal City because this is the Metal City video. And it looks like, lo and behold, it is actually true. Up on top of the Metal City skate park, you will see. If you can make it all the way up here, you can actually get the strawberry scoop chow. So it's true, man. The if that chow are out of bounds in every single map is actually confirmed who would have thought who would have guessed it i certainly wouldn't have this would actually bust the next myth that i had planned which was froggies on top of the tower in metal city if y'all remember back in the day when this game first came out and you could spin dash off the map and metal city skate park was first introduced we could actually find at the top of this very tower over here that froggy was also up here so instead of the strawberry chow it's actually froggy but obviously the myth has been busted fortunately for us the little guy has been found in metal city and now he's no longer missing because big the cat has found him it looks like every story truly has a happy ending you know what i mean it's nice to see the things come full circle it's a shame that the myth is busted let's move on to the next one here's the next myth jet the hawk is faster in races than he is in the boss battle so for those of you who didn't know they brought back the metal city race but like the actual original sonic speed simulator 1.0 metal city race which was a boss battle basically or a boss race against jet the hawk well, let's see how long we can race against jet in the metal city race which i believe is different i don't think this is the same instance i think it's slightly different there he is right there this guy yo he moves kind of quick though look at him not faster than me but he's definitely making some progress over here all right come on come on and i think he beats the race in about 63 seconds let's see what he does in the actual race all right so now we're in the pvp race version and i see jet the hawk right here so let's see what happens man let's see if he's a little bit quicker in this version of the race all right let's see what happens we're at the finish line right now so i'm waiting for this guy jet the hawk oh he's already here let's see what he does let's, let's see how quickly he crosses the finish line and oh yeah, you know, it's 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 about the same, you know? It, it actually he isn't faster in the PvP race version. Looks like the myth that Jet the Hawk is faster in the PvP race is actually busted. Here's the next myth. You cannot earn race tickets if you beat Jet the Hawk when you use the portal in Metal City. And if you look right here, so we got race tickets for actually beating the Metal City PvP race. Let's see what happens when we actually do the instance version. I, I don't know if it's even different, to be honest. I thought it was. This will maybe put it to the test. All right, so all we have to do is actually defeat Jet the Hawk in this race, and we we will do that trust me we will not lose to this guy all right we have finished the race now let's see what happens oh we end up back in green hill interesting so you actually do get race tickets for beating the jet the hawk race when you do it in the metal city so i don't think it's a separate instance i think it's literally you can just spawn the metal city race whenever you want the myth is confirmed 